Welcome to this lab. In this lab, we're going to discuss the get keywords method or get keywords function. So let's uh, go to our code here. I created another method called draw object using get keywords. So we have here the document and the database. Next, the requirement for the get keyword is for you to create a prompt keyword options so this is another object for prompting the user for input so basically you need to use the prompt keyword options initialize a variable let's just call this as pko equals new from keyword options let's just leave the string for now as blank now we need to create a message to the user pko that message so let's say our project will basically just prompt the user to select from one of the options to draw like line circle and m text so we just uh, prompt the user to enter the object he wants to draw what would you like to draw the syntax is equals to okay next we need to add the keywords now so pko dot keywords dot add these are now the options that the user will see when we run the code. So pko that keywords that add. Let's add another object as an option. Keywords that add. Let's say m text, and we can restrict the user's option to allow none equals false this means that the user has to select one of these options next so we have this from keyword options so how are we going to get the the selected option by the user remember the prompt result let's just call that as res equals doc that editor that get keywords from the prompt keyword options object and then let's just initialize an another variable let's let's call this as answer equals rest that string result okay now be before we get started with coding which options the user has selected here we just need to validate it's always good to validate if answer is not equal to null then we go ahead so since we are drawing each of these objects here we need to use the transaction We need to start the transaction. Next, if we are drawing object, what we need to do? We need to get the block table. Let's just initialize BT as trans.get object from our database block table id open mode for read as block table okay next we have the block table what do we need to do we need to have the block table record equals trans dot get object that would be the <coughs> bt then block table record dot model space open mode for writing 
this block table record. All right. So now, what what's next for us to do? How are we going to identify if whether the selected option is line or circle or M text? We can use the switch statement, right? Remember switch answer. You can use if then else, but for this example let's uh, use switch so case if the selected option is line then draw the line here and break if the selected option is circle draw the circle then break if the selected option is M text, then draw the M text. So we are just uh, constructing our switch statement and we will come back here and do the necessary coding and then break. And the default, let's just say. Uh, doc that editor no option selected all right then also a break so this will be our structure for the case uh, for the switch statement now we can draw the line here so what do we need to do for the line we need to have two points, right? Points 3D, PT1 equals new point. Let's start from 0, 0. Another point 3D. Uh, let's make it 100, 100. Then now we have two points. We can create a line, new line from point 1 to point 2 that's it however we still need to add into the block table record right bt uh, ln then append in the transaction or add in the transaction true so that's uh, that's our line next for the circle what do we need for the circle we need the uh, insertion point let's call this as ins pt equals new point 3d let's do that at zero zero what else do we need let's draw a circle new circle and now we can provide the circle properties. So sir the center would be our ins pt. Our radius, let's say just make it uh, 10 and let's change the color equals 1 which is red. Then that's it for our circle and we can append it into our block table record. and add into our transaction next for the m text what do we need to do for the m text we also need an insertion point in pt equals new point let's just make it zero zero so we need to instantiate the m text object now we can provide the m text properties what will be the contents let's just say hello world what will be the the insertion point or the location 
that will be our ins ins what will be the what will be the height let's make that uh, 10 mtx that color equals yellow we have error here because we use this already let's make this as center point okay this one has to be right message next we have to make sure to commit the transaction so trans that commit and that's it let's revisit our code so this uh, mainly the uh, emphasis here using the get keywords so first we initialize uh, prompt keyword options and then we add our keywords line circle and text then we get the results and depending on the results we handle it here all right so let us save our project and do a build So there is an error here. What is the the error? Oh, this one. We are not using the color. We are using the color index. So let's use color index. Save and then do a rebuild. All right, succeeded. So in the next video, we're going to run this in AutoCAD. I'll see you there.